Hello, I am back again today with Uber Chic Beauty Fairy Tale 01, which is one of their awesome uh, single plates that you can buy alone. And I just love this. I think that it captures like the whimsy and the fantastical nature of um, the things that you want in a fairy tale plate without being super cutesy. I think there's lots of plates out there that do it in um, a real cute way, the, the fairy tale Disney kind of stuff. And that's awesome. You know, there is there's time and place for that. But if you're looking for something that has a little bit more of um, an elegant feel to it, I think this is the plate for you. So uh, I love the once upon a time and in a land far, far away. And um, skipping over to this, this reminds me of uh, in the old fairy tale books, lots of different kinds of books. The first letter in a chapter will have the illuminated letter around it. And that makes me um, think of that. And I think that it would be a beautiful manicure to have that as an accent nail. And then, you know, these around it. Uh, this is a beautiful um, castle and and uh, path and forest uh, that's just so sweet. And then we've got Enchanted and um, this little fairy thing here that looks like Tinkerbell. And I'm going to call her Tinkerbell. And if, uh, you see, if you think she's somebody else, that's awesome too. This is a beautiful full nail image with little crowns in it um, that you could, you know, you could have um, beautiful little Cinderella over here on one nail and this across the back, or even have this like in a light color and then stamp her in a darker um, color right over the top. Just beautiful. Um, some pretty little uh, swirls because you have to have that for, you know, your beautiful manicures when you're in fairy tale land. Um, this is a griffin. I think that's the right word, right? Is something that's part, no, or is this, no, this is a Pegasus, I think. So we've got your winged horse there and then your, um, your coach and your horse. And I like that they're all, you're going to be able to fit these on your nail. Um, they're, the, that coach is going to fit just fine. The, the horse is going to fit on a, you can either put them on separate ones or if like mine, that would actually fit on one nail because my nails are so curved. Um, so don't let that uh, fool you that would fit on it would be a tight fit but it'll fit um, princess over here we've got some beautiful leaves so if you're building your fairy tale forest you've got that and then just this beautiful scroll work again like the leaf work on a, on a beautiful antique fairy tale book um, watch out for the big bad wolf I think that's always very good advice frankly that especially if you got one like that and it's growling at you watch out um, glass slipper there or ruby slipper you know you do that in red you got Dorothy's ruby slipper um, Udi Lolly golly what a day and then you've got Beast from Beauty and the Beast and you've got Beauty over here to match so they could and they're in position that they could be separate or they could be like dancing together like he's dancing with her or kissing her hand I love this dragon I love that there's this little small dragon that I can fit on my nails it's super cute and easy and I love it at first glance, you look at this and you go, oh, that's a chain link fence. No, it isn't. It's dragon scales. And it's the little, the ends come down so you can get a dragon scale manicure. Perfect to go along with that. I love it. Okay, now this, I think, is a griffin. The lion that's part bird and part lion. Um, little, you're a little gnome there. for if, or, um, Dwarf, of course, for Snow White, right? Um, how beautiful is this? So like you could do your own crest in the middle with all of the fairy tale work around it. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, and then you've got this beautiful horse. Just if you like horses, that it's worth it, the plate alone for that. Or like a carousel. That could be a carousel horse too. Oh, so pretty. Mirror, mirror on the wall. And I guess that could, you could do um, with that as well. That could be like your mirror on the wall and you have those on your other nails. Who's the fairest of them all? We've got some um, little wings here to go along with whatever. We've got your castle, because you got to have a castle, you know, where you live ha happily ever after. And I love how this goes beautifully with this one up here. Uh, it seems like Uber Chic does that a lot. They give you the, the little ones to go with the bigger ones. And um, that gives you lots of fun stuff to play around with in a manicure. We've got, um, this is like a cornice, a corner, a corner piece with beautiful... Um, flourishes and flowers and then we've got um, your princess and your prince um, I'm not sure which one that is supposed to be maybe that's beauty again with now with her 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 beast who's no longer a prince I think it doesn't matter you can make it be whatever you want do with red hair it's Ariel right and then of course you've got your fairy godmother wand because you've got to have your magic and bippity poppity boo I love that 
Oh. All right, and then you've got your different crowns, your kings and your queens and your princes and your everything. Um, ogre, gotta have an ogre, right? You just gotta have somebody to make things difficult. And then you've got your your knight uh, and your um, gauntlet, your the the knight's uh, glove, and then another crown. And then here you have fur. So this could be fur of you know beasts' fur or um, a lion's fur or just. You know, if any kind of animal man you want to do, that would be great for. And then another sort of crest-looking uh, flourishy thing. And so I like that there is a lot of little small images that you can do any kind of fairy tale um, manicure that you want to do with. Um, but then there's also a lot on here that you don't have to have. It doesn't have to have anything to do with fairy tale. You know, you can use this. You can use this. You can use... Um, you could use that as a chain link fence if you want to, not dragon scales. Um, you could use this just as a, you know, um, a beautiful fur texture on a, on a, on a manicure. So there's a lot of things that you can do here that don't necessarily have to be fairy tale as well, which I think makes this a little bit more versatile than it if it was just a plate that just had those things on it. Okay, let me do a quick measure for you here. I'm going to just throw this up here so you can see. Obviously, the images on this plate are all different. They're all different sizes. Uh, so just to give you a feel, you can see that this is not quite a full... The full nail image is not quite a full inch long. It's a little bit over an inch and three quarters right in between the two. Um, and then we've got... It is about right there. Uh, a about, a, about three quarters of an inch that way. Um, so you can see that... And then this, all of these smaller ones going to be able to um, play around and get those on your nails without too much of a problem. All right, let's take a look at how this stamps. I'm going to use uh, Sally Hansen In Prompt Blue, Sally Hansen Insta Dry. So let's try this little wooden castle scene here. And I have to move quickly with these. So we're going to just go roll, stamp, and let's take a look. The detail is gorgeous. You can see that you get all the details of um, the little scene perfectly. All right, let's try a different sort of one. Let's try one of these beautiful Disney princesses that are a little bit more solid and see how that comes out. Just beautiful. She's a beautiful princess. And she's happy. Just beautiful. So I think this is a great quality plate. Um, just like all of the other Uber Chic Beauty plates that I have tried, it's absolutely beautiful. It stamps beautifully. And I will put all of the information, the links and everything down below in the description box so you can find it. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon.